The number one question I get all the time is how is the market? And over the weekend, everyone was explaining to me how the market is crashing. Now, I can't tell the future, but I can tell you what's been happening between last year and this year's numbers. So stay tuned. Let's take a look at the numbers here in Westwood to see how this is going to be affecting you and your home prices. Hi, my name is Connie Lopez, licensed realtor here in West Los Angeles, covering the areas of Westwood, Century City, Beverly Hills. Welcome to my channel. Again, I'm so glad you're here. The first thing I'm gonna look at is our active inventory here in Westwood. In 2021, in June, we only had 66 listings. And remember, last year we had a very tight inventory. So this year, June 2022, our listings now, active listings, are down to 62. So our inventory is much tighter than it was last year. Now, National News is saying that their inventory is increasing. And in our area, it's quite the opposite. Now, the average days on the market is another good indication of where the home prices may be going. Last year in June, the average days on market was only 16 days. So you could have your home listed and sold on the market in 16 days. Today, in June 2022, the average days on the market is 18. So we've gone up a whole two days. The next thing I wanna look at is the properties that were under contract in June of 2021. We had 28 properties under contract versus June 2022, which we had 24. So that's only a difference of four properties. Price reductions. Well, in 2021 of June, the month of June, we had two properties that reduced their price. That's it, two properties reduced their price. And in June 2022, we only had four properties reduce their price. And of the four homes that reduced their price, three of them have sold already. Um, so the other thing I wanna look at is the amount of homes sold in each month here in Westwood. So in 2021, we had 26 home sales versus 2022, which now we've had 20 home sales. So I do feel that that is a indication of the amount of inventory that we have on the market. It's tighter. We have less inventory now. Um, so even with inflation and recession going on, we still don't have enough inventory to feed the hunger of the amount of buyers that we have um, looking for homes here in Westwood. So we are not feeling the effects that everyone else is feeling yet. The average home price was 1.77 million. I'm just rounding this up. So 1,770,000. And in 2022 now it's 2,056,000. So homes are still increasing. Um, I also checked the uh, list to sell price for the month of June and all the homes that sold which was 20 homes that sold in our area were sold within hundred and five percent of the ask price which means they all sold over ask so right now as uh, in June 2022 we are still in a seller's market now this video is obviously being recorded in July because July numbers have not come out yet I'm reporting you on the June numbers, which is last month. So all the numbers are still indicating a very high seller's market. I personally held an open house last month and we had 41 people come through the open house. From that particular open house, we had three offers. So we're still seeing multiple offers. Now in 2021, we would see double that. And in 2021, we were av averaging anywhere between 14 and 17 offers per property. Now we're seeing three to five, but we're still seeing those multiple offers for homes that are priced correctly. Homes that are overpriced, we're not seeing that. And when you guys are seeing, when you're looking at Zillow, your realtor.coms and things like that, and you're saying, oh, someone's slashing their prices, those are ask price. Those are not the sales price of what the home actually sold for. So price appreciation and the home uh, the price that the homes actually sold for 
has been increasing, what you're seeing as far as prices being flashed, you're seeing the some homeowners that are haven't listened to their real estate agent, homeowners that are thinking that they're gonna take advantage of the market and overprice the home. So that's what you're seeing. All right, if you have any questions or want to know what the market is doing in your specific area, contact me and I'll get you with the Connie Lopez in your area. Thank you.